Hey guys, I've been asked a couple times to do a video on sexing your tarantula. So that's what I'm going to attempt to do here. And hopefully it'll show up on the video. I'm going to give it a shot. Uh, I just pulled this molt out of one of my LPs, the uh, Lassie Door of Caravana. And I don't know what it is yet, so I'm pretty stoked to find out. So we're going to try to take a look. Tea here together. So first what you want to do is get it moist, get it wet, get a spray bottle and spray it off. Um, if you add a little bit of soap to your water mix mixture, it'll, uh, it'll, it'll absorb the tarantula better. All these hairs kind of, um, if you guys know what water barrier is, um, it's like if you fill a glass with water, it makes like a, it doesn't immediately overflow, kind of bulges out the top. It's the water barrier. So that's what these hairs do. It kind of makes the water kind of run off and not absorb into the tarantula. It kind of keeps them dry. So if you add a little bit of uh, soap to your mixture, just a tiny bit, it'll break that water barrier so it absorbs quicker, goes past these hairs. So what you want to do is you want to be on the top of the tarantula, on the top of the molt. Um, you can see the holes. It's kind of got water in it there. but um, And this is where you're going to sex it from. This part is the important part. If this is all torn up, you can't sex your tarantula. So you're hoping that this is good. The bigger they are, the easier they are to see and, um, and to get the mold out. The thing is with big teas is you want to get this out fairly within a couple days, but you don't want to get it right out immediately. When a tarantula this big, this is uh, probably uh, about six and a half inches. Um, when they're this big, right after their molt, their legs, all of these joints and these legs aren't hardened yet and uh, on the tarantula. So if it if you spook it and it tries to run, it actually can break his legs. So you want to give it a few days before you try pulling the mold out if it's right next to it. Um, so what we're going to do is try to find the opening so we can spread this part of the abdomen out very carefully. And you just take this part slow. Um, it's usually a little twisted. And I may have to add a little bit of water. We'll see. No, it's coming apart. And this is why it's bigger, better, or easier to do on bigger tarantulas. Because this part, on little, little guys, is just a twisted mess and it's hard to figure out where the opening is. Okay. Ooh, didn't mean to do that. I don't want to rip it. Try and ooh, man, I'm a little bit klutzy today. So we want to get this open. These white dots that you see are the book lungs. So, I'm trying to get it open so it'll show up on camera. But, what you're going to be looking for, here's the lower book lungs. One here, one here. The upper book lungs are up here. Here's the top one, the other one's right here. Okay, you're going to be looking at the space between the upper book lungs. And I'm trying to open this up so we can see it on camera. So we just keep moving it around. Okay. This spot Okay. Give me a half a second. Okay. Now let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. Hopefully I can get it to show. 
without it going all fuzzy like that. I'll have to back out a little bit. Okay. Light where we can see. Okay. Now I'm kind of looking through the camera and doing this. So it's going to take me a second. I just want to see if we can show it. Okay, right there. Uh, let me back out. It's a little bit fuzzy still. Okay. Between the upper book lungs right here, okay? See how this is all brown right here on this T? And then on a male, it'll be that same all the way right between these book lungs, okay? There'll be no difference. It'll be that same color, you know, as the rest of right here. But right there, in this spot right there, if you can see it, there's a little bit of a pouch, little opening um, right between those two book lungs. And if it has that pouch, that's a female. If it doesn't, and a lot of times there's like a flap. You know, you can reach down and, yeah, this one's the, the flaps right there, okay? There's a flap. Actually got a flap right here, and I'm sorry, the, the camera's not the best. But hopefully we can kind of see it. But that is how you tell the male and the female. This is a for sure female with that right there. I know this for a fact is a female. Um, it's the only absolute way to know if they're male or female. You know, when they're big, you can look underneath and you can tell, you know. But if you do it by sex, it's confirmed. The males don't have it. Sometimes the females and males can look really similar. A lot of different species, they look really similar. Um, but through this way, doing it, this is how you sex them through a molt. And this is a confirmed female. So I hope that uh, helps out a little bit. Best thing you can do is just always, when you got a molt, try to sex it. Even if... Uh, even if it's too small and you don't think you're going to be able to do it, you know, try working, pulling it apart, you know, trying to get this abdomen open, you know, and, uh, and taking a look. And you'll get to know once you, once you start seeing, especially when you get bigger ones, you know, this one's really easy to see. And I wish it showed up better on the camera. Let me see if I can... I wish I had a, a way to see this better, but, but right there's where we're looking. Sorry, it's not really focused. I mean, my camera's not the best. But, uh, but yeah, if it was a male, that little flap wouldn't be there. So, so there's my female. And uh, pretty stoked. I'm glad she's a female. She's my bigger of my LPs. Let's see if we can show her. This is her right there. She just molted. She's pretty big, and she's female, so we're pretty stoked about that.